All right, so like I told you, our Yusuf Ibrahim is at the BOMAS of Kenya this evening and joins me now. Uh, Yusuf, so what's the reaction of uh, the party agents to this latest briefing by Chiloba? Of course, the statement uh, made uh, by the IEBC CEO is a sharp contrast with what uh, his boss, that is the chairman, had to say earlier in the day. And the CEO was very categorical, saying that the system was, has not been hacked into, dismissing completely what the opposition have been raising uh, for the better part of the day, saying that the, the system has been uh, hacked into. Earlier in the day, the IEBC chair, Wafula Chibukati, had uh, indicated, you know, saying that uh, they're going to allow investigations uh, to go through, saying that he doesn't know if the system... Uh, has been uh, hacked into. So what the IEBC CEO did today, Yvonne, is uh, to be categorical, you know, coming out with one voice uh, together with the other commissioners saying that uh, the system is good, it's in place. And let me just once again quote what he said. He said that our election uh, management system is secure. We confirm that there are no interference before, during and after the polling exercise. So as of today, 6.45pm, uh, according to the CEO, uh, they've already received 96% uh, of uh, the polling stations. They received results from 96% uh, of the polling stations. So what they are waiting for right now are results from about 1,300 uh, polling stations. And he has already indicated that uh, the final or the official result, result they've received uh, are from uh, 10 constituencies as far as the presidential results is concerned. And when they're getting these this results, Yvonne, uh, they're going to, according to them, uh, take through, uh, go through some, you know, uh, vigorous process. They've identified identified it as, you know, uh, confirmation and validation process. And it's being led by several teams. Each team, according to the CEO, uh, is led by a commissioner. And others involved include, you know, agents of the various uh, presidential candidates. So it's a very vigorous process just to make sure that the figures uh, they're getting from the text uh, relate with those on the uh, forms that are, that are forms 34A and B from both the constituency level as well as the polling station level.